So shockwave therapy is a treatment that we will use as an adjunct to a rehab program. Uh, we use a machine that generates pressure waves and those pressure waves are then delivered into the body tissues via the use of an applicator that we put just on the skin in the affected area. We'll use shockwave therapy usually when patients haven't responded well enough to a usual rehab program. So if they're having ongoing pain, uh, impaired performance or impaired quality of life. Uh, typically we'll use it in the shoulder, around the hip, in the knee and the foot and ankle for conditions such as tennis elbow, uh, gluteal tendinopathy and plantar fasciopathy. So once we've decided that shockwave therapy is going to be the treatment path that we go down, we'll typically plan a course, uh, and usually that'll be between three and six sessions, spaced one week apart. Uh, on each session you'll come in, uh, we'll identify the area that we're going to deliver shockwave therapy to uh, using the ultrasound machine, uh, and then we'll put some ultrasound gel just onto the uh, affected area and then uh, start the shockwave. Uh, the gel allows shockwaves to travel better into the body tissues. Uh, each session takes about five to ten minutes uh, to complete and uh, at each occasion we're monitoring your uh, pain levels and making sure that you're comfortable through the treatment. Uh, once we've finished uh, you're able to leave and carry on your day uh, as normal uh, and whilst you might have a little bit of pain um, or a little bit of a bruising sensation afterwards that usually resolves within two to three days uh, and then we continue like that through, uh, through a course. So in general, shockwave therapy is a really safe treatment and it's got a very good side effect profile. Uh, I'll always tell people that uh, during the treatment itself, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, um, but we can adjust the settings to make it uh, more tolerable uh, and more comfortable for them. Uh, there is a theoretical risk of tissue rupture uh, after shockwave therapy, but I'll always tell people uh, not to do any heavy loading or heavy lifting uh, through uh, that affected tissue for two to three days after just to reduce the potential risk of that. So if patients haven't responded as well as we would like them to have done to a, a usual rehabilitation program, uh, we'll have a discussion about other treatments that are available, uh, of which shockwave therapy might be one of those. Uh, and when we discuss uh, the potential benefits that we might get from shockwave therapy and weigh it up against the potential side effects or any problems that we might experience with it against other treatments, uh, that's when we can then decide together whether shockwave is a good option to, uh, to progress with alongside a formal rehabilitation program.